Well, hello, Story Chasers. This is Amber, and today I'm gonna do some rig tours. I myself am looking for possibly a travel trailer now and a truck. I have my van that you might have seen me in, but I think I'm looking to switch it up a bit. I've been kind of in this place of wanting to get more space. So I'm over here at Lazy Days in the Elkhart, Indiana area, and I wanna show you this grand design. It is a travel trailer behind me, and we're gonna check it out and see what it has to offer as far as space and all the things that might tick my box, or maybe yours. This is a Grand Design Reflection. It is a travel trailer. As you can see here, we have the hitch with the various controls here to get everything set up with your truck. On the outside, we have storage. This looks pretty nice. Oops, let's see here. And it looks like it might hook up. Yep, it's got magnets at the top to hook it up into. Oh my gosh, wow, look at that space. Huge pass-through in here. I like it, it has this floor, little areas here to store some stuff that might leak. You've got a little area here for electrical cord. There's your jack. You've got a light out here. Does This isn't hooked into electricity right now, so I can't turn all of that on. All right, and then to pull this down, you just pull it gently, close it up, nice and easy. You can see that is the magnet up there for the door. This also has a nice big awning at the top. One slide right here. Lots of windows. We'll see what that looks like on the inside when we go in. Well, I like that it has this ladder as well. I've never had a ladder on my RVs. So it's important sometimes to be able to get up on the roof and obviously check things out, make sure things are working properly. Well, it looks like we've got, wow, we have three slides all together, it looks like. One on the other side and then two here. Okay, no bumper. Looks like we've got a two inch receiver. Lots of windows. Let's go inside and check this out. Oh, I like these tires too. Look pretty good. Okay, nice big handlebar here to get up these steps. So this is a 31.5 RLTS. Arctic insulation, which means this is a four season RV. All right. Wow, this is huge in here. Huh? I feel like I'm stepping into a home. Compared to my van, this is amazing. So this is the front door when we just walked in. We're just gonna go to the right here and see what we have in the bedroom. Nice big bed, looks like a queen size bed. We've got lots of cabinets above, some windows for ventilation, which is really important. So this is on a slide. We've got some good closet space too. This is a very, very large closet in here. Wow. Right. Bathroom. Nice size bathroom with a little skylight, which is nice. Um, full size shower, pretty big in here. Nice shower pan, it's a step up. Door closes, let's see, how do we close this? Oh, pull that little tab up, close your door. Nice. This feels like glass. Let's close it up. Nice shower head up there. Controls places to put your Soap and your shampoo. We've got additional space up here. Nice little towel rack. Looks like we have our gas water heater controls over here. Lights. 
our vanity mirror. Lots of space for toiletries in here. Even a nice little cubby here. You can put stuff with a lip so that it doesn't fall while you're driving. Pretty little sink. This is a kind of a plastic type sink. It's not ceramic, but it keeps things lightweight. Your drawers. You can feel that lock. Do you see that? It has its own lock, so it's not going anywhere. When you travel, you just push it in and it catches. All right, space underneath here for other supplies. All right, let's go into the kitchen. Now this is the creme de la creme. Look at that refrigerator. <laughs> Huge refrigerator. Look at this thing. One up. Oh, oops. Let's put it all the way up. There we go. So look at that. That is huge. This is a nice residential fridge here. You've got crisper drawers, lots of space for food, also on the doors for condiments. So that's just the refrigerator. Looks like we've got a freezer down here. Except how do you unlock that? There we go. Unlock. Freezers down here, super nice. Next to the right, we have this kind of credenza slash butler pantry area. Lots of drawers. We've got more space up here. I tell you, this has a lot of space. Definitely can store a lot of things in here. Then coming around, we have this huge kitchen island, really beautiful. Okay, our sink, got a nice faucet that actually moves so you can wash your dishes, move it around everywhere. We also have these little inserts that can come off so you can keep one on only use the sink over on the right side or take both of them off and get full utilization of this very very deep sink very nice look we even have a wine little area here where you can keep your bottles of wine microwave Another window over here for more light, and it has an oven. That's huge. I haven't had an oven in forever. Also looks like we have a three burner gas top. So you just pull this back and you've got access to your three burners. Nice area here for cooking on. Reminds me more of a residential stove top. You've got your oven. It's a nice oven. More storage over here, all around. And then, what's in this closet? Wow, <laughs> even more storage. <laughs> Thing is huge. Yeah, so you have so much storage in here, it's unbelievable. You will not be lacking for storage, especially if you're a minimalist. We have more over the entertainment area. Okay, we've got a stereo system here. Our big TV and a fireplace with more storage on each side. So look at that. I mean, really, tons of space. Overhead, we have more storage up here. That's over this beautiful couch. Very nice couch here. Let's see if we sit in it. Oh, oh yeah, that feels good. Yeah, feels really good. Nice and comfy. I could see myself laying in this thing. Look at all these windows behind me. It's very well lit in here. And I'm probably sweating because it is hot. We've got some nice blackout shades here. Go up and down. That's always nice. 
this is the other slide. So our kitchen is over on this side. We've got the slide over here for the recliners and also the dinette table, which is nice. You have these freestanding chairs that you can move anywhere you want. A little bench seat. Let's see, is there storage? Yep, we have storage under here. Seriously guys, lots of storage, lots of light, lots of windows. The recliners also have a little storage inside here. Some cup holders in each area. You've got three cup holders in total for two recliners. All right, recliners, let's see how cushiony these are. Oh yeah, this is nice. Nice cushiony recliners, actually more cushiony than the sofa over there. You can watch your TV over here. Yeah, lots of places to have your friends, your family, if you're just by yourself, plenty of room. We've got more controls over here for the temperature and also for your fans and vents over here. Always important to have the fire extinguisher. Okay. We have the inverter off and on right here. Our breaker box is down here. We have electrical outlets under the island. We have our LP alarm down there. Lots of light up here too. We have a skylight. We have the AC vents up here. More lights and sound system over here and also vents for AC. So the doors open right now. You can see there is a actual screen. We'll close the screen, see what that looks like. It's a nice screen, little areas for you to obviously close this door back and forth or open it if you'd like. I like that it has this little fibers down here that actually keep bugs and stuff from coming in underneath. And then our door. Our door also has a magnet on it right here to hold the door open so the wind doesn't catch it and blow it. See under here we have a stabilizer jacks. All right guys, that is the Grand Design Reflection 31 foot pull trailer. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel. I talk everything about traveling in an RV, being a full-time digital nomad. So I have reviews like this of RVs and trailers and things that I'm seriously looking at and things that you guys are interested in as well as my travel vlogs as I travel across North America. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.